Bear. How are you doing today? Did everyone have a uh, good Christmas or whatever holiday everyone celebrates? Awesome, awesome bear. It was it was rather low key actually. Um, I uh, I took a break because of uh, been trying to find a job and also spending some time with family. Um, then my sister came down with COVID. Uh, thankfully, I was not in contact with her, but. It was, uh, it was a very interesting year um, for the holidays. Let's just say that. So um, overall, it was it was just okay. Um, nothing spectacular, but I got through it. That's the good thing, I guess. So um, finally got the med stabilized right now. So far, so been kind of dealing with that and just. Just getting through each day, day by day. And uh, I think I got a message from you, which, uh, and a couple other people, and I, th sorry I didn't reply to yours, I was just going to go and reply soon, but I was like, you know what, I'm actually in the mood to stream. Finally calmed down and uh, got all my adulting out of the way and was like, you know what, It's it's been a while since uh, I streamed. And I missed all guys really a lot, so decided to say hey. And uh, I'm just farming some stuff in New World right now. I will be probably streaming a lot more. Um, I still have some applications out, that kind of stuff. So waiting to hear back. I have an interview in a couple days, so we shall see. But did not really mean to take a, a long hiatus. I think I was gone for like two weeks. So usually I take like a day or two off. But hey, Ali, congratulations on your your streaming as well. I'm very proud of you. How have you been? I am awesome, awesome. I'm getting day by day. Um, overall, okay. Thank you for asking. Did you, uh, make affiliate? I do believe you have, right? Awesome. I am so proud of you, Ali. So if anyone's listening or anything, be sure to look up Spark Bug Alley. So definitely give them a follow, subscribe. If y'all like me, of course, I made affiliate a little bit um, 
a while back, so uh, subscribe if you like, things like that. Um, definitely, we we got to make a living somehow. So, but I'm really, really proud of you, um, Allie. So, one of these days, uh, I will going to have to hang, because I am totally jealous of your page. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. So... But yeah, I absolutely... I actually caught some of your uh, broadcasts. I just didn't talk. Um, I, I pretty much was like, caught a bit, and then real life just kind of ensued. So, But I do have notifications on for you. So, But I'm super, super, super happy for you, hon. Awesome, awesome. Um, Beard, you know Aplo Ninja, right? That is one of the best people to actually get the name out there, um, as well. Um, Aplo Ninja is a great person they uh, to just network with. So, yeah, I, st I made sure I still have you on follow um, as well, Bear. So, I uh, I really like the um, the networking that Aplo did with a lot of people. I think that was probably the the greatest advice I told Ali as well is um, network there. You'll get a lot of people keep chugging at it. Um, I got affiliate and um, then I went on my break stupidly. <laughs> so I'm trying to get back in the hang of it. So Awesome, awesome. There's some discords out there as well that um, helps people network as well. Um, Applos is pretty good. I think there's a couple others as well that helps. I am just gathering inf stuff and about to head to the Winter Village, probably after I gather some more presents. The uh, the game actually did a lot of uh, cool fixes and their Winter Festival thing. It's actually kind of cool.
that just looks like a pet alligator. That is very interesting. Greatest thing about using the ice gauntlet, drop a pylon and just run. It'll distract the mobs long enough that you can just grab your shit and move.
That's awesome to hear. Um, minus the COVID. I'm sorry about that. Like I said earlier, my sister got it as well. So, but I, I'm really happy that the holidays was really nice to you. I uh, had some great gifts from some friends as well. So, um, actually, one friend got me a uh, kick ass uh, hoodie that has a uh, new world on it. So, I was super excited, except for the fact that it's actually kind of not cold in Texas because it's really soft and it's really comfortable, but it's also really warm. <laughs> so, I was, I, I definitely loved it. Um, but way too warm in Texas to wear right now because the weather is all just weird so when it finally does get cold I'm definitely going to be snuggling in it And I hope your brother gets well, by the way. Uh, I meant to say that. And also, who's listening? Uh, if you ever catch this broadcast, make sure to look up Slightly Stupid Bear. It's a great person to uh, to follow. Hopefully subscribe too soon. And uh, they're awesome as well. And my cat says hello as well. Yeah, it's... I mean, I was I was outside mowing today. I have to weed eat tomorrow. Um, but I was just like... it's It's been a bit since we had it this warm in, in Texas for the holidays. I'm not really complaining having to deal with last year's bullshit. Slash, uh, technically, this year's bullshit, which was, you know, back in February when we made national and world news because the Texas power grid was it's very interesting. That's pretty much the PC version that I'm going to give it. Um, but I just... That's good. Um, my sister took the... Um, um, she's on a regimen right now. She is getting better, better as well. Um, I went a couple, I think it was about a month ago, got my booster. Um, that kind of wiped me out for like a day and a half. I think I was bitching about it actually on Twitch streaming. So, but I'd rather have a sore arm for 24 hours than to actually get it. So, again, just my opinion out there, but I've definitely lost uh, some good people to it. Oh, um, basically, uh, um, Bear's brother got COVID, my sister's got COVID, but they're both doing better. I'm just rambling, honestly, Allie. You know how I roll. I'm bored. Like, not bored, bored, but like, you know, in the whole streaming of gathering trace golf items <laughs> that kind of stuff of zoning out more actually uh, enjoying the, the talking than the actual playing does that make sense I've definitely missed y'all guys um, I will actually even probably make a later broadcast as well today one of these days um, I'll actually put up a schedule the only reason, of course, I haven't is because uh, I need to get a job first, so I know that schedule. Yeah, that's my my friend um, said the same thing. I don't suffer from it, 
But my friend gets super, super motion sickness from it. I do not know whatsoever how to counteract that at all. Um, I absolutely love the game, but a lot of people, I mean, it's it's also has created some controversy because the requirements also can fuck up some game cards. Um, video cards that kind of stuff as well. I never have really an issue with it. Knock on wood. Um, other people definitely got motion sickness. It is very interesting. Um, just the controls aren't like normal MMOs. Yep. So... That's why I, uh, I, I mean, I love playing it, That's, but I never really said, hey, go out and buy it, if that makes sense, because I don't want to be responsible for someone to get it, have that type of card, and then get fucked over, so... Man, I cannot aim for shit sometimes. I actually, for a bit, um, was playing on my Twitch, um, Diablo. I really wish, um, they could, you know, share tunes from Diablo 3 on the PC versus, uh, versus the, uh, Switch, but, um, I was playing Diablo, um, getting my little necromancer up for season 25 and then I'm, and then I realized oh hey my back's been hurting me and everything because I was uh, doing some renovations in the house and decided to play the twitch for a while so for a good week and a half I was uh, <laughs> I was on not twitch at uh, the switch sorry guys um, but playing d3 on the switch and of course Animal Crossing because it's an adorable game. So. But they have actually made some strides to make it a better game, at least in the world. They did server merges. Um, I actually kind of was geeking out with some uh, people recently. Um, there's some old EverQuest people that actually play on this server, which is actually kind of cool. EverQuest was my first MMO I fell in love with, so to actually have people talk about uh, Ultima Online, EverQuest, that kind of stuff, throwbacks to the yesteryear of super hard to play MMOs, or harder to play, uh, that definitely uh, was like, oh wow, there's some actually really cool people here. They also made, uh, fix some bugs and things like that. So, and let's see if I can, yeah, let me just go to here real quick, show y'all the winter festival stuff. Actually, check one thing. Does all houses? Nope, only one house does. Okay.
I gotta like how they have the different style of uh, cougars in different places. So it's not just the same cut and paste cougars in every zone. And this is the Winter Wonderland place. I've already finished off um, the quest here. You gotta... Oh, that's interesting. That's kind of cool, Ollie. Congrats on that. Ah, gotcha. Let's see if I got enough presents to turn over. <laughs> I'm going to definitely have to get more presents. I really liked that. Um, every now and again you'll see a meteor shower as well. And then you mine the meteor shower. But I really like the uh, beautiful scenery. also love that you cannot die from actually jumping down off of cliffs. It's a strange as shit. You can drown in under 20 seconds or around 20 seconds, but you don't die from jumping off a fucking mountain. Logic, people. Logic. Dude, they don't even start about the wild plummets because, yeah, that shit got old fast. And, yeah, I mean, it, it actually started in EverQuest. The plummets there were fucking scary. And then, yeah, the wild plummets. Which were just, that's on their own kind of weirdness. Also, you know, the fact that I think it's still in the game. There is actually a glitch in New World um, where in a particular zone you're gathering herbs and there's this one set of herbs that are uh, labeled well, they're labeled as herbs, but you go to it and start collecting, and it, you start drowning. So it's, it's a funny fucking glitch. I understand that. I, uh... I actually went back recently to play the Legion Time Walking and had... Uh, which actually I do believe ended this morning. Um... Here, kitty. Play with the pylon. I really, really enjoyed that part. I played with some friends, some friends came back, um, we actually had a blast. So I'm looking forward to the Legion time looking again, which is, I have to actually check the calendar. Alright. But, uh, other than that, I mean, I think 9.2 is, is looking interesting. Uh, the story with the Sylvanas, I'm very much interested in actually finding out what, you know, what's going to happen. Um, well, 
you have my battle to tag. If I actually do play well and I see you on, I'll definitely give you a shout out. So you can, um, I play Horde, so if you play Horde, you're more than welcome. We can team up and do some shit as well. So. Um, I used to play Alliance <laughs> a long time ago. I still have Alliance tunes, but I, uh, on Proudmoor, it is very much Alliance heavy. So, yeah, I actually got, I actually really wanted to start on Horde originally because I really liked the uh, just the idea of the Horde just more togetherness than the Alliance and the Alliance were kind of pricks so but the person I was dating at the time was all about the Alliance so yeah yes it is a super LGBT um, there's a uh, I liked it a lot more than Area 52, which I played on there for a bit as well. I played on a couple servers. So. I started on lane server with Alliance, went to uh, Alex Straza because friends transferred. Um, then went to Area 52 because friends were there. And then went to. I struck out to uh, Proudmoor. Because A52, man, toxicity there was a little bit too much for me. It's, it's totally understandable. I mean, the the problem is, is also is like there's so much more alliance on Proudmoor than Horde, so Horde side's kind of scrambling. So there's a lot of a lot of dead guilds out there, then like there's a couple that are are active, but they themselves are kind of getting a weird toxic. Um, but I definitely prefer pro LGBT than, you know, your standard, you know, kind of assholey like guilds out there, if that makes sense. It's actually interesting. Uh, talking about LGBT, there's, you know, now finally a uh, advertising for one in New World. Yeah, there's that. Um, I've had to deal with that for a bit because I'm an older generation player, so it's, it's just nothing new for me. But. Oh, um, there is a, uh, in the recruitment, the Witches of the Weird apparently is advertising for LGBTQ+. Plus. Um, it's, we just had the server merge, so I haven't seen any LGBT advertised. So, um, me and, uh, like, two other friends started our own LGBT one, but... I don't want to get into the having that's only to kind of keep us together so because I mean the company I'm in is pride company it kind of screams LGBT so I was actually really shocked that um, the name wasn't already taken because a new world I mean I can't make the same tune on a different server with the same name because a new world you get one name and that also includes for companies as well. So there's only one pride company out there. So. Which I was kind of rather shocked. So. 
We were up late at night kind of looking through some of the, the companies to join. And there's only so many people um, that can join a company. Don't push yourself. Um, definitely take it easy. I Maybe there's some settings, hopefully, that you can kind of play with. That you can help with the, uh, the motion sickness. Again, I'm not advocating the game. I just, I personally love it. It really uh, reminds me a lot of just a mixture of certain games that I adore, like Skyrim. Although the um, controls are a little bit um, like your regular MMO mixed in with Diablo 3, because there's, there's just the controls are weird. Um, but they get comfy after a while, and plus you can remap things. And Sparkbug, if you actually do want to, um, we have a spot for you. I mean, we're not very active. I'm probably the most active in my company, but if you're casual, low-key, and just want to hang and stuff, shit, I will be more than happy to. That's what I was getting to. Um, we are now on the ferry um, on US West, because everybody that is in... Uh, friends with me, uh, they're mostly west coast, even though I'm central, um, yep. They are all west coasters, I am stuck in the middle, but I went west coast to play with them. Uh, ferry, F-E-R-R-Y, but, yeah, if you really want to push it, <laughs> I kind of chuckled as well when I saw that the server merge put me there. Let me just... yeah. Ah, gotcha. I think I actually have some... I mean, I made several tunes just to... to gain names. I may still have some tunes on the Eastern... I mean, you can play on West, I can play on East, it's... whatever. Um, but... You just have a slightly more lag if you play on West Coast. For me being in Texas, I have slightly better connection than uh, if I do the Central, but when I was really looking at it, honestly, there's not that much of a difference for me yeah, exactly. There's really not that much of a difference for me. So, um, because every now and again I have a hankering to play some new, like, low beep. And I'm like, okay, let me just log on this tune. So. There is some things I wish they really do actually fix though soon. And that is the um, the response time with switching weapons as well as the response time if you actually take a potion or not. Because you literally kind of have to spam it for the game to go, oh! She wants to live? Oh. You gotta spam, like, number three, like, 15 times. So. But. Hopefully they're working on it.
as I hit it. Cool. I didn't even know about that. That's actually really, really fucking cool, man. I do not want to kill the kitty. Ah. Oh. I love it when the people keep missing. Oh shit. Hi kitty. Yep. <sighs> Bad kitty. I swear this place is like the best place to get herbs. I will, however, gank the camp. Oh, they- oh shit. Let me actually get in my kill stuff, which is...
I love how I have, I think, three arrows sticking out of me. <sighs> it's awesome. Oh shit, we're actually going inside. Alright. Oh, fuck yes, they are a healer. That is awesome. Dude, I didn't even know about that shortcut. That's fucking dope as fuck. Meet a stranger, get some cool shit. Tubes. Missed your bud. And holidays were interesting. Uh, sure, Sparkbook. Uh, send me the deets in a DM, and I will definitely love to get in that. Fuck this one. This is part of a quest and it hurts like hell.
Uh, no, actually been putting out some uh, feelers for jobs, actually, for uh, over the Christmas holiday stuff. Um, talked to a lot of family. Got some actually cool presents, though, from a couple of friends, so that was actually kind of cool. Um, kind of was very much low-key and spent most of it actually um, getting used to my uh, doctor changing stuff on my meds, kind of working with it, that kind of stuff. Um, basically just part-time, so I can actually still stream when and because uh, I actually do enjoy it and uh, just I, different things technically I do still have my property in casualty because I am a licensed insurance person but I really hate insurance sometimes but there's some feelers out there I would love to work at night I love third shift but that's just me But oh, shit. <laughs> That's awesome, Mally. I wish I could actually work for myself, man. I really, really wish. I miss snow, except for the driving in snow part. I, I really like how, like, quiet it gets uh, during a snow, like the, the hiss, actually, that a snowstorm brings. Um, when I used to live in central New York, I loved it. Just because the the air was crisp, it was clean. Uh, there was a slight hiss. So, yeah, I I don't know if Florida ever gets snow, ever. I know Texas does, but probably not this year. was snow is about I think 50% of the time up in central New York where it was maybe sometimes a little bit longer yeah <laughs> I think that's almost anywhere with the construction updates. That hurt.
That little asshole destroyed my fucking pylon. How rude. Does anyone else ever talk to themselves when they're playing, like, oh shit, what the fuck am I thinking? Or like, oh my god, I'm such a noob. Or they start humming that fucking random song that's in their stuck in their head. Uh, both actually. One of the reasons I actually even started the stream was because I was talking to myself or actually well more like humming to myself when I would play a lot. And then I thought I was awesome. Um and I'm doing I'm saying that sarcastically guys. But um because let's just say I would be slightly inebriated and come up with the, you know, the shower thoughts whole thing. And I was like, man, I should share this with the world. So that's when the narrator comes on. He goes, yes, he was just being a stupid fuck. <laughs> I'm actually digging this person I'm hanging out with. Shit, oh shit. Uh, what is random? The thoughts? Or this person that I'm hanging out with? Because I just happened to be in the area and this person invited me because... Yeah. I just actually just recently sent them a friend request. Which I am hoping they took... Um, yeah, they did. But this is actually a, uh, a place that people really don't hang out solo-wise here. Um, because there's so many, there's a couple hard quests up here, which we've actually finished. Um, but there's several, um, a repeatable quest up here, but it's not a solo area at all. So it is, But that's how you, you meet some cool people. You uh, get in the area and then, um, or sign up for a random something and then meet some cool people like this. That's why I liked um, my last uh, server and what I'm actually liking about this one as well, uh, even after merge, is that there's some kind of okay people still. Shit. 
this guy again. Okay. Aw, oh, sweet. I got... Schematics! I fucking love test runs. I love it when you run in groups like this, you get to level up all your shit really easy. It's really nice. Fucking tight.
we're okay. We're going down. Ow. That was eventful. Ooh, that's a lot. Keep running. Please keep running. Just keep running. Keep oh, ow. Ow, ow. Right? Well, we did, and then we got stunned, and then we decided to kill them all. Because <laughs> we're murder hobos, I guess. I was trying my best to Sir Robin that shit, man. not seen one of these pigs before. <laughs> they 
<laughs> With the coconuts, right? And the help, help. Welcome back. The uh, I like the help, help uh, being repressed. And the I didn't vote for you. I'm gonna chop this tree. Because this tree just looked at me weird. And of course, uh, the most famous one was uh, the your mother was a hamster and your father smelled of elderberries. I like how you actually still get XP, or at least um, after you've maxed out like skinning and gathering and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, you can now get rewards after uh, completing that. I actually have a quest up here.
Oh shit. This guy hurts. I do believe it is five for a party in New World. And up to a hundred people in uh, a company. This is basically a guild. I do not know about raids. Um, I've been in OPR, which is like 40 people, 35 to 40 people. So I'm guessing that's the raid size as well. Um,
some shit might. And now we're just I think still doing chest runs. But these are probably used for um, these kills are probably used for quests as well, but really cool shit comes out of chests here. And off the mobs. I wonder if we can actually go in the big building. Someone's already here. The healers, yes, I do. Fuck.
I made a friend, people. Alright, Ellie, thank you for stopping by, and I will definitely, hopefully, see y'all soon. Jesus. I love these trees. These are very pretty trees. Ooh. Presents.
they make a funny dying sound. Perhaps it will work in...
You did it, didn't you? Right, I am gonna go grab some food, guys, and I'll be back in a couple hours to stream for tonight. So I do want to say thank you for hanging with me, and be sure to check out Spark Bug Alley and also stu -tu -tu -tu. slightly stupid bear as well. Okay, guys, um, love you. Be kind to one another, and I will see y'all in a couple hours. Shoobs, you're awesome. Thank you for hanging out with me as well. Okay? Um, but yeah, look forward to me tonight. And if you do have a Prime account, I would absolutely love you if you subscribe. You can subscribe for free if you have a Prime account. So keep that in mind, guys. Every little bit helps. Take care.